I'm John Fox and welcome to the proximity. I am having a disco Elysium adventure and uh, I <laughs> I was going to save up all my points to level up conceptualization to talk to this dude which I, I could check out what that score is. Yeah, look at my how much money I've got because I'm standing so close to him. Uh, it's still quite low and I'm not wearing my conceptualization clothing right now. But I thought this might be a secure place. Like, he doesn't believe this guy exists, but surely he shouldn't be able to see me interfacing with this white envelope. Okay. Interfacing aid. Okay. So, meantime, we're going to look for places. That village hut might be the good one. As long as the dude doesn't leave. You should certainly don't want to be on his property. Maybe even underground. Like, nobody knows where that is, right? That nobody's been in there for years. So, nobody could possibly be watching us from there. I might check out that room now as well. We've already compromised ourselves. So there's no reason not to investigate that new place. The Jewess wants me to like search into drugs. Oh, I found the drugs, didn't I? But I didn't, oh, so I, my brain. What was my brain doing? Joyce wanted me to look for drugs and I found drugs and I never put those two together. Uh, you know what I mean? I was expecting some sort of underhand secret. Maybe I'll, I'll tell her about the light bending man. Um, but it might be about the girl. Right to work! Right to work! Shame on you! Oh, that's new. A monster shadow high above the fire traps of the domain. The 881 motorway running over this district can jamrock. Concrete pillars rise up from the midst of the dilapidated wooden houses. On the horizon barely visible, the hazy machinery of harbour. Shudder and breathe into your hands. Life in the domain is even worse off than Martinez. Cold air is stiff from the fumes of motor carriages and lorries roaring overhead. Below. Uh, broken down, the battered people mill on the dusty streets of no purpose, yet amongst them is no sign of this man, nowhere. You're not from the domain. Yeah, the man grunts. What makes you say that? No one there knows you. The beefy man snorts and spits on the ground. They know me, that's bullshit. He turns his attention back to the harbour gates. The man moves around, you perceive some serious abs underneath the tight-fitting shirt. This man is in shape. There's something odd in the way he carries himself. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. Okay, no, I know that one. What's in there? He was acting tough before. This probably scared him a bit. Who knows when it will come in handy? Slightly scared, racist lorryman. Let's talk to that lorryman again. Look 
looking for something, aunt? Huh? Coming to tell me to fuck off again? Let's put all our bottles away, shall we? The money might come in handy. Hey! I could not a lot of money at all. about the questions again because I don't really know anything cool and I don't mind like having a last pass around everyone as well uh, but it's it's all the union stuff that's going to disappear and that dude is probably going to stay there Biographies of famous people. Placence, I have something to tell you. I found the actual source of the doom. What do you mean, the actual source? She clutches her pendant anxiously. I thought this issue was resolved. My investigation has led me to discover a two millimeter entropenotic hole in reality. That's the source of the doom, both in the commercial area and in Martinez. Uh, what? A tiny hole in reality may be connected with the Pale and Origins point of sorts. It would explain why historically so many things have ended in failure here in Martinez. Ma'am, what he's telling is true. Found an intrapanotic anomaly in the small Pinewood Church down the coast. I don't mean to be an alarmist, and more research is needed, but it's not looking good. But. But. That's not in any of the ancient texts. How am I supposed to protect my bookstore from that? Tell her the truth, it's out of her hands. You can protect it with hope by refusing to give up. That's what people have done in the past by building a church, a place of worship around this thing. You're right, officer. Mustn't lose faith, especially now that her net is finally settling in at school and making friends. She looks at her daughter, quietly studying in the corner of the shop. Now, we can't just leave. Besides, I don't have some soliate hope catchers around here somewhere, didn't I? I must find them. Everything will be alright if I can just find them. Thank you for your help. In any case, you're welcome back here any time. Well, well, now. Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? <gasps> That's... A you shouldn't... She gave me the hat again. That's an error in the game. Detective hat. Yes, just like the one Dick Mellon wears. You'll look way more serious with it. A backup hat! Yay! <laughs> I don't think the game's supposed to do that, but never mind. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, oh, I can afford the Suzerainty game. Pain threshold. Locked. Whoop. 
No same person would ever put their head to such a machine. What? What's the interfacing thing? Oh. Let's stop wasting time, shall we? And Smells like leather and sweat. Give it a go. I failed, didn't I? Fuck you, stupid barbell. It's dark. It's the obvious. That point. Fair enough. I probably don't have the uh, machine, the filament anymore. I sold it, didn't I? Well, I, I took the stupid route here, didn't I? Oh no, how do I get in? Found here somewhere. That's outside, John. How do I get to the lady? It's like a furnace, isn't it? Must be back upstairs. Ah. 
Four bolts quick. Why hasn't our business failed? I think I found the actual source of the curse. But we agreed that the curse isn't real. It's a bit more complicated than I first thought it would be. We're listening. She leans back on a chair, arms crossed across the chest. There was a two millimeter, two millimeter hole in reality located in the church on the other side of the canal. I think it may be related to the pale. Excuse me. She sits up, visibly, visibly agitated. A two millimeter hole in reality? This can't be true. I'm afraid it is, ma'am. Sooner, a Lucanine killed the former lead programmer of the fortress accident made the discovery. Sooner is involved in this. Is to take this in while the chatter from my headphones continues unabated. It's even worse than I thought. Not just the commercial areas that's cursed, the entire world. She looks outside the window where the daylight has filled the yard. But I preached the whole time. No one listened. The curse is something superstitious. But a two millimeter hole in reality, she gives you a rueful smile. We all know what it means. It's pale. In any case, thank you for stopping by. It's good to have an answer, even if I can't claim to understand it fully. Shivers. Five. It's a white check. I failed. Damn. Would have really liked to have passed that, but I could have just... Done a thing. Never mind. Let's have a look at... Oh, box of sunglasses. Yeah, it's really annoying that I did that. I should have changed clothing. Why did you go that way? Low rumble of bass beat, your heart repeats it. The shine on those sunglasses lasts a lifetime, officer. One hundred percent guarantee. Oh god damn it, no luck. And I know I could have just changed my stuff. But I'm going to level up conceptualization anyway, so it's not bad. I can just remember to put the stuff on next time. And I'm wearing interface stuff, right? Is that definitely all the interfacing stuff I have? Yellow. So I can talk to them without ask. I can ask him without getting the signatures. If that makes any sense.
I've not been cheating so far. <sighs> Come on, John. Let's do the forgery. Interfacing eight. Come on. Come on. Yes. With a confident flourish, you complete your forgery. What do you see on the signature lines? Two names. Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. Indeed, they look distinctly different and very convincing. These might well be their actual signatures. But they're not. The document will be nullified if they dispute it. It means Everard will have to start over. All we need to do now is mail the signatures to Everard's accountant and the Delta. There was a mail delivery box on the plaza near the corner of the bookstore. Need that level up for um, conceptualization, don't we? Should we talk to Joyce? Aye, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning oh, southeast. What's on your mind, officer? Why does she care about the waves so much? What is it with you and those waves? What is it with these waves and the and fishermen? She tilts her head and looks at the seas. We need to be out here with them, fishing, making a living. So I asked them to accommodate me. But until that happens, I can try and assist you the best I can. She adds with a smile. What will it be, officer? And Kim's presence makes it awkward. That's my motor carriage in the sea, by the way, by the way. Point to the sunken vehicle. Oh! She looks at the pointed direction. That's good to know, I guess. Why is it in the sea? It's an installation. Wet your lips. Very conceptual. An official investigation has been launched by me to determine just that, ma'am. That's great. The woman glances towards the wreckage again. So then, maybe you should start thinking about the funeral. Sire, she doth not believe it wasn't you. You are suggesting we honour the carcass of my former motor carriage? Aye. Those was deserved, don't you think? All in a line of duty like that and all. What an odd thought. Maybe I should. Why odd? Our things are part of our life world. They're made with uh, human sweat and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans, to some extent, at least. There we go. Life world. Someone's been reading up in the last century of Gottwald and philosophers. Played cool now. Alright, I'm in. But organising a funeral takes a lot of time and effort, doesn't it? Oh yeah. She says with a chuckle, "You won't even be able to get out of the water, get it out of the water by early early June." And where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music to play at the wake? Take it from someone who's been for, for a few funerals. It's easiest just to leave them there and make let nature take care of it. That's all we have time for right now. Anyway, the tenant looks at you sympathetically. Come back here in June and see how you feel about it. Then it's not like it's going anywhere. It's a pity we don't get to do more frivolous side activities, like rejuvenate the doomed commercial area, or... Lieutenant looks at you almost gently. Yes, that is a pity. But for now, let's focus on the things we do get to do, like the murder investigation, for example. Oh, don't you not use it? Not really. Glance at the blade. I know some basic moves, and I know it sure as hell beats a knife when you're in a tough spot. But not when you're in a tight spot. That's what guns are for. Guns are expensive and fragile. Okay. Yes, I enjoyed the way they bled. He disappeared. Sounds like a missing person's case. Absolutely does not. The lieutenant quickly interjects. We are not going to look for him. No, no, there's nothing to find. He's dead. Lost of the waves. 
Oh, say no more. Wait for her to continue. Didn't respect the sea. Went out of there like a drunk, like a skunk. And sure enough, one day the boat was found floating empty. Bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. Now, before you tell me. Yeah, okay, we know all this. Maybe, we are seeing you. are back. Good. What can I help you with? Uh, okay, that man who was killed. She um, almost takes the photo, but then stops. I'm afraid this is disgusting for once we played the lynching questions. Do you know something about the tattoos? Better not... Okay. Tell me again about the drug trafficking. Lorries are still stuck in the roundabout of the police are asking, or the drivers might admit it. I heard something about a complex operation earlier. This adds up. Nods. I'm glad to hear, officer. I'm sure we'll find out just what this means soon enough. We have made up my mind about the smuggling investigation. Oh, I... I see. I I didn't. I hang on. I thought I already accepted the case. Uh, yes, we'll take the case. Whether the drivers see what it yields, except. Excellent. She takes a long sip of tea. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully, one of them will know something. It may come to nothing, or it may be just blow the case wide open and keep the drawbridge up for a few more days. At least you should have the time you need. In the meantime, let us know if there's anything, uh, any other way maybe of assistance. She takes another long sip from her seemingly bottomless thermal cup. Thank you, Hans. He asked me to open a door. A referral, you mean? I take this. I take it this was for someone in the RCM. She waves her hand. Don't answer that. Actually, I lied that I opened the door. I didn't really do it. Dependus! She takes a little bow. Pulling one on the old worm. Commend commendingly, commendably done. And did this trick yield anything interesting? I assume it was necessary for the case. Detective, I advise you to be very selective with what information you choose to share. This may have consequences beyond our line of sight. Hmm. Everard asked the Union Militant Wing fully cooperate with the investigation. How benevolent, she thinks for a second. Hopefully they'll help you sort this whole business out if they haven't already. I cannot discuss the specifics of an ongoing investigation, ma'am. Turn into justice glasses. Besides, you haven't exactly been forthcoming yourself. Nods. That is only fair. Hmm. I've said all I can. Well, I hope it yields something, other, otherwise you'll have opened that door for naught. Okay, so I can do all, all of this. Uh, I don't know, it, like, as he says, it's not a good idea to say things to her. You didn't seem all that worried about the whole conflict that's developing. I wouldn't have taken Everard for a saber rattler. Was he surrounded by Union men he wanted to impress? No, it was more like he wanted things to get worse in this in secret, of course. He wasn't trying to impress anyone. I think he wants things to escalate. 
or he wants you and me to believe he wants to go to war. Of course, Pinkman's ship takes Sherman's ship. We should have seen it before. In his office, he might well have been performing for us. He's always at risk, ma'am, but may I offer my opinion? He means it. Seems right. I'm pretty sure he meant it. There we go. Experience. I'll think it over, Detective. Thank you for relaying this information to me. Have I underestimated the Union's ferocity? She has to ask herself by now. I don't think I should say those two. That's all I've got to say. What you said is quite enough. You've given me a lot to consider and may have helped me prevent this conflict from escalating. Hear that, hero? Feels good, doesn't it? You should relay confidential information more often. Is that helping me find my gun? No. He asked me to deliver an envelope. Sounds like he has you running errands, Detective. A well-established dominance ritual. Where did, where did you, you deliver it? Uh, here? Here? Looks around. Oh, no. What does that bloated hell bat want for my little cinder block town? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know what he has in store for the place. Probably a statue. It's a statue, right? A giant statue of him? Or better yet, his twin brother? Practically the same thing, but makes him seem less like a psychopath? He wants to build a youth centre here for the children of Martinez. Youth centre? With Edgar... Claire's statue on top of it. She looks down at the jetty remorsefully. The humidity crawls under your skin. Your eyes track her gaze past the net picker towards the concrete square nameless village of the coast of Martinez. Keep them open. Go ahead. Help him. Make it so. I have no power to stop him. What size boots do you wear, Matt? Madam? What? She looks at the soles of her tiny green boots. 35, I think. Why? I have mutant's feet, very small. Prints are hers. Or prints. You're quite fond of this village, aren't you? I should be. She nods. There's that crooked smile again. In my youth, I had a brief dalance here in Martinez. But he was an older man, and possibly broad soldiers. He's probably dead by now. Even his shack is long gone. Not that it matters. The buildings are all carbon copies of the ones before. You've been to Martinez before? Yes, I was slumming it with some girlfriends of mine. We had boats and she smiles. Don't hold it against me. My paramour certainly did not. Sounds like you missed those times. Not overly so. It's not like this was the only place we visited. Me and my girlfriends from Ozone, with our shiny boats and like reavers. We told ourselves we were the worst thing to happen to the coast since the coalition landed in 08. Imagine, she tosses her head. You say so. I'm over-radiated, Harry, she spouts. I do little silly things sometimes, out of pale-related illness, like cell over here. The moral of the story she is, she lists. Do not spend 22 days in a year in pale transit. Don't waste your 20 slumming it with your stupid friends, and don't deliver Everard's Claire's mail. Bony fingers pointed like an arrow at your chest. Are you satisfied, Detective? What else can you tell me about your mail delivery request, Everard? Do you think it will imp improve the place? She's pointed it quite hard in there. Feels like a knife. Would you prefer something else? Not a youth centre. First, there won't be a youth centre. Whatever he's told you on the, all the residents, it'll be something horrific. Perhaps even worse than a statue. Oh, yes, I do. Like what? A fishery. I've been speaking with Lillian here. She gives me the idea. The infrastructure is all here, with my connections. Sadly, it's just one of the million things I'll never get around to. I just have to accept that I'll never be the rich candy girl who goes around solving people's problems with money. So you said you can't buy the, buy the place? Yes, I'm sad I'll never have the time, Detective. Always wanted a dilapidated fishing village. He's more defensive about it than usual. Full of ghosts and ancient memories, she smiles. Has this errant yielded any you any information? Mr. Everard is helping me find my gun. Oh, her eyes become large and round. That's so helpful of him. Tenor looks at you and you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. He's unable to contain the anger and surprise. I knew it was a bad idea. Unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They go around and tell people about this to gauge their reactions. It's all a part of detecting. Incredible, she shakes her head. Simply incredible. How is it going to... How is it, how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? Oh. 
Or maybe he's not as helpful as you thought he was. Is there anything else? Okay, that was a stupid thing to say. Oh my, the E-word. It's a symbol of our subjugation to the phone. Oh no. Class time. Okay. Okay, no, I can't. Like, I already felt that. Some of those things were stupid, but... Double bar! Okay, I need to talk to Lady and do that post. Oh yeah, and I've got an entire investigation I'm supposed to do now. Cluster of polychromatic flyers blow by in the breeze. So... Potentially, he's still going to be there. He is not union business, is he? He's something else. And honestly, it doesn't seem that important. I just think it'd be funny to do it. So before I forget, I am going to talk to the lady. Yeah, talk to her first. Tornado is back. What do you want? Hey, about that complex operation out of Ruby's lorry. I think that's tied to another case I'm working. Nope, that's all he says. He doesn't even do anything. I wanna go. What is it about the way he carries himself? Could he be a member of the homosexual underground? Yes, this man is definitely one of the homos. I've seen them homos with my own eyes. This sexual thing seems interesting. Ask around. Become involved. Are you a part of the homosexual underground? The homosexual underground? The smoker sits up immediately, his eyes wide with amused surprise. A honeyed smile lingers on his lips. Why, yes, I am, officer. Why, do you want to investigate it? Yes, I want to hear more about this homosexual underground you're part of. Oh, it's a pleasure group. A sub-Rosa pleasure group congregating in cellars under the cover of night. Saturday night. Sometimes even Friday night. But what about Thursday night? All Thursday night, sometimes the congregating doesn't even end. It carries on into our daily life. He lowers his voice conspiratorially and looks around. But why do you convene? What do you do? Oh, we're ambitious. We want to destroy the last vestiges of meaning. The last things people want in, the, in the last things people in Revital had to hold on to. The true symbols of security. The meaning of man and woman, mother, father, and their marriage. Everything will be constantly shifting and moving under our rule. The future will belong to a circus of identities. Just spinning around, surreal and unreal. You won't even know who you are anymore. 
Does it have anything to do with disco? Yes, we also listen to a lot of disco. Some way say we engineered disco to spread our vision of the vertiginous, ever-changing society where all there is is razzle-dazzle of gold. We're going to change the family unit with all this razzmatazz and finger dancing. He wiggles his hands. And with mysteries, of course. The mysteries are also of sexual nature. Very esoteric. I do like disco. Maybe I should get into it. You can't just get into it. You have to have been born into it. One is either already in the homosexual movement or forever excluded from it. What if I can't remember whether I'm in or not? What if I can't remember anything about my life aside from the fact I like disco? Beautiful. The smoke crawls up to you like an animal preparing to jump. Beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for. Who knows? Maybe you were homosexual in the past. Maybe all that that has been repressed. He circles his hands around you. I have to say that you do look like someone who might have been a part of the underground. You have a very distinctive, I can't understand what's going on here look. This is going to be like a 20 hour mind project for me. 20 hours at least. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Okay, I'm really glad. <laughs> That's, that was quite funny. Uh, a man like you can figure out his sexuality in a working day. It won't be 20 hours like you, uh, like you want to enter the heightened realms of phantasmic erotic afterwards. But it may be 20 hours or more. But that would be on your own time. There you go. Bye bye. Gendarme. Uh, there is no research bonus. You see a mysterious strangers in the night, leaning, leaning against unlit doorways, uh, engaged in hushed conversations, a shadowy cabal exchanging looks, whispering in the dark alleys and unmarked locales, a radical cell conspiring against the state, uh, and perhaps even against man and woman. Was that a secret handshake? What's going on? Who are these secretive people? How will they accomplish their sinister and world-altering goals? Most importantly, are you one of them? You could be. Maybe you forgot. Oh, this, might, this seems like it's actually worth internalizing. Uh, like, there's the one with the fascist one. Like, I want the five experience points, but I just don't want to do it. <laughs> like, even if, even if it doesn't mean anything. There's so many of these. Oh, I, that I've just never seen. Also, I forgot about this one. Again, I can't believe this shit. Hmm. Seems cooler than you. Joy's fucking flattered, but Kim is not part of this thought experiment. In this one, we're partners. Hmm. Yes? What is it? Did you hear that? Did you hear me sing? Did you like it? That was pretty good, Harry. You shouldn't have been around for the song. Oh, no, was she around? Uh, she pokes her companion with an elbow. Wasn't it, Jean? Jean. Whoa, how does she know your name? She probably heard it from somewhere. You have to be more careful, karaoke star. Names are dangerous. Uh, that was... He says at you. Yeah, that was absolute shit, if you want my opinion. Drunk and shit. I haven't heard anything to end, end this badly since I had cluster headaches. Horrible, truly horrible, he continues. I beg of you, don't ever subject anyone to this torture again. I mean, seriously, you need to... John, quietly interjects, giving you a compassionate side glance. He's not right. Don't make it worse. And I really liked it. I actually did. Did you just call me Harry? Yes, I called you by your name. What about it? Sounds slightly agitated and sad. How do you know my name? 
God, everybody knows your name. She waves and you're discarding at you. She waves at you in a discarding motion. Please finish your investigation so everyone can go home. Yeah, I shouldn't have told her about the gun. Oh, the episode's ended. Uh, I better let you go. Oh yeah, this one just burnt, sped by. I've been John Proxy. Uh, I've been having a uh, Disco Elysium adventure. I'm going to see you.